The bail baron uses mechanical limit switches that activate when a component has reached its minimum and maximum positions. Over time, these switches may wear in and may need to be adjusted slightly. Before adjusting a limit switch, make sure the component that activates the switch is in fact in the correct position. For example, if the plunger in limit switch is not being activated when the plunger is extended, this could be caused by a plunger power out rather than the switch being out of adjustment. If a limit switch is out of adjustment, it can be simply readjusted to work properly. In this video, we are going to use the injector up limit switch as an example. Start by manually moving the component that activates the switch to its maximum position, where it would activate the switch. In this case, the ejector to the up position. Now, check the switch by rotating the switch lever away from the component that activates it. In this case, the injector limit switch bar. Listen for an audible click. It should not take much movement to activate the switch and a click to be heard. The click indicates when the switch activates. So in this case, the injector bar is not traveling far enough to activate the switch. Start by loosening the lever screw. Now, shorten the lever so there is no pressure on it from the injector bar. With a pen or marker, draw a line across the lever mount and housing. Next, remove the lever mount. Notice how the mount is splined and the shaft is also splined. This allows for minute adjustments. Using the line drawn earlier, rotate the lever mount one spline toward the component that activates it. In this case, we are rotating the mount counterclockwise one spline. Now, reinstall the lever and the screw. Turn the screw in, but don't fully tighten it. Next, lengthen the lever by sliding it out toward the bar. The lever is the correct length when the roller is resting on the bar as shown here. Do not extend the lever so far that the bar hits the metal lever. Finally, tighten up the lever screw. The limit switch will now be set. On a component such as a plunger, a limit switch can be easily adjusted by loosening the lever screw and lengthening the lever until an audible click is heard. After the click, extend the lever an additional quarter of an inch.